Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Summary thoughts? Golden Bachelor Victor after Teresa's fiancé Jerry Turner is caught lying, her friends implore her to get a prenup. Teresa Nist, the last Rose recipient on the show, has been pleaded with by those close to her to use protection. Jerry, 72, proposed to Teresa, 70, during the Golden Bachelor finale, picking her to receive his last Rose rather than Leslie Fema, 64, the fitness instructor. But almost immediately, Jerry's thorns showed since he was exposed for lying or for contradicting several parts of his own life. Teresa's pals are now cautioning the financial advisor to protect her money. According to a source who spoke with Life and Style, Teresa's friends are stressing the importance of having a prenup. He's been caught lying, and people are telling Teresa to think twice. Furthermore, it appears that Teresa might be experiencing her own uncertainties and worries. Now Jerry's having to explain himself, and Teresa is questioning everything he's ever said, claimed a source. As evidenced by their remarks, online fans support the prenup. I believe she ought to. He's obviously not an entirely honest person, someone said. Another cautioned, be a smart lady and get a prenup or get out, once a liar always a liar. A fourth yelled, Jerry is disgusting. Not a charming prince. Every choice you make has an effect. Take off the rose-colored spectacles and consider the long term. On January 4, 2024, Jerry and Teresa will tie the knot in a lipstream ceremony on ABC. After the wedding, the pair will go on a honeymoon to Italy. Following the publication of an article by The Hollywood Reporter highlighting significant inconsistencies between Jerry's on-screen image and his real-life self, the couple announced their engagement. Among the many inconsistencies is the claim that Jerry hasn't dated in 45 years, which is purportedly false, despite what he stated to Entertainment Tonight. The expose included information on how the Golden Bachelor star approached a lady a month after his wife Tony passed away and conjectured that he approached the ladies on the show with the same pickup lines he used to approach real-life women. Jerry dated a woman for three years before he fell in love again. This was only a month after his beloved Tony passed away unexpectedly. The Hollywood Reporter was informed last week by the ex-girlfriend, who desired to stay anonymous, that Jerry had made her split the tab when they went out to dinner and had publicly chastised her for putting on 10 pounds. After 10 months of dating, the ex-girlfriend, whom THR identified as Carolyn, claimed that he informed her she would have to pay $1,000 a month for living expenses when she moved into his lake property on Big Lawn Lake in Hudson, Indiana. Carolyn worked the price down to $850, but she granted his request to split the cost of every meal when they weren't going out to eat. In order for Jerry to appear like the big man at restaurants, Carolyn is said to have paid her share in advance. She stated before she sat down for breakfast in the morning, Jerry insisted she make the bed. She said Jerry informed her, I'm not taking you to the reunion looking like that, while she was packed for his high school reunion in October 2019. She said he was pointing at her physique because she had put on 10 pounds due to stress. She claims that Jerry instructed her to vacate the house by January 1, 2020. She reportedly tumbled down the stairs while packing by herself, and the next day she underwent foot surgery. She stated Jerry said she was staying longer than necessary because of the fall. The woman has claimed that he then declined to let her stay in his house for the final two weeks of their arrangement. ABC has been contacted by the U.S. Sun for comment. John Henry Spurlock of Bachelor Nation claims he didn't make a mistake when he asked Kat Izzo to marry him. John Henry Spurlock, who starred in Bachelor in Paradise, called off his engagement to Kat Izzo, but he has no ill will towards her. On Tuesday, December 12, John Henry, 31, posted a caption on his Instagram account that read, Thanks again for all the kind words. I don't feel that I made a mistake choosing her, the person said, addressing people who had nothing positive to say about what was revealed on an edited reality dating show. Before their breakup, John Henry, who debuted on reality TV on Charity Lawson's Bachelorette season earlier this year, posted a number of joyful pictures of himself and Kat, 27, together. I never looked back and second-guessed anything, instead, I was taken in by the real Kat Izzo. He went on, the cat who always prioritized my feelings and done everything in her power to make things work. The cat that many people actually know. 
Unfortunately, Bachelor Nation is unaware of the cat. Even if we chose to take different routes, you are an incredible woman and someone is truly fortunate to have you in their life. Continue being who you are, keep reaching all of your objectives, and relish this new phase of your life as a nurse practitioner in San Diego. Kat and I have recently chosen to split ways with love and respect for one another. We were excited to share with you the amazing memories and development that our friendship has brought. We are appreciative of the love and support we've gotten from our family, friends, and Bachelor Nation, even though our job aspirations don't align, the couple said in a statement posted to Instagram on Monday, December 11th. Although it wasn't an easy choice, we think it's the best one for each of us personally. We kindly request that you continue to support us and respect our privacy as we work through this transition. Kat had a difficult start to her BIP experience after being introduced to Bachelor Nation during Zach Shellcross's Bachelor season. She had been attempting to make contact with Tanner Cortad and Brayden Bowers before John Henry showed up at the beach. He had a brief romantic connection with Olivia Lewis, but he ended things with her to focus on Kat. In a moving pre-proposal speech, Kat told John Henry that she had never felt so comfortable so quickly with a person before he came along during the bib finale, she said, I definitely doubted myself for a while, thinking this was too good to be true, and waiting for something bad to happen because I couldn't believe something so good could come so easily. I am standing here right now, pleased and immensely at peace, because of you. I genuinely and completely adore you. He got down on one knee and said, My heart is telling me that you are amazing, you are what I'm looking for. I genuinely see us having a future together, and I'm not just falling in love, I'm in love with you too. Having stated that, Kat, will you be my spouse? The host of Golden Bachelor says Jerry Turner was hurting following the poignant first rose ceremony. Leading the way on the newest Bachelor season, the 72-year-old was the first senior citizen to hunt for love on the show. He was shown getting close to the women in this week's premiere amid a wild celebration that culminated in a tearful rose ceremony when Patty, Pamela, Renee, and Maria bid farewell. After the show, the host offered his thoughts on Jerry's TV debut and complimented the retired restaurant owner on how well he handled the filming process. I felt like nothing was off the table when I was talking to Jerry outside the mansion, Jesse remarked. Jerry was determined to stay open and follow the night wherever it led. The first night's excitement from everyone amazed me the most. I was confident there would be some naps during the evening, but Jerry and the women didn't stop partying. Even at five in the morning, they were dancing. I think one of Jerry's many incredible qualities is his compassion, so it was very difficult to see him hurting like that, he said to Entertainment Weekly when asked how difficult it was to watch The Bachelor get emotional at having to send people home on the first night. I believe Jerry realized how emotional this journey would be for him for the first time, even though he always wears his heart on his sleeve. This week marked the start of Jerry's first season of The Golden Bachelor, which followed him as he got to know the 22 ladies fighting for his heart. After his wife Tony passed away in 2017, the celebrity looked to the ABC show for a new partner.